Hi, my name's Indu Rubasingham. I'm Artistic Director of Kiln Theatre. At the time of uh, recording this, this is, it's uh, July the 5th. Um, so it's been a good three months since lockdown and uh, just want to put that into context. We're literally waiting next week for a major announcement, uh, possibly uh, from government. I'm also waiting to hear from the Arts Council about the MPO Emergency Fund. So I just want to put into context the timing because as all of us know, it's been a uh, shifting sand since the minute uh, lockdown happened and what the information and what, what we are expecting to do. Um, I just thought I'd share three thoughts really, um, maybe four, um, of uh, what what's come to me in this time of being an, um, a leader in the in the arts. It's been very difficult in the sense of that you're doing a job um, but not doing the job that you thought you would be doing. So I run a theatre and I also spent some time rebuilding that theatre. We just finished a capital project in 2018 uh, after many years of fundraising and being closed for two years. But in this situation, you realise it doesn't matter how beautiful or brilliant the building is, without the artists, without the people in it, without the audiences, it is a shell. It is has no meaning, uh, which is a really interesting place to be in. Um, I've been very up and down, uh, as again, most people uh, have been. And one of the things that I've come taken with me and what I'm really trying to hold on to is taking time, taking time to make a decision, not knee jerking, not listening, not being uh, surrounded by the cacophony, but knowing what you would do, what your values are. Um, and that it just takes a little bit of time to hear your inner voice and uh, work out what your judgment is. So that's one of the key things that I uh, am really trying to hold on to moving forward. And one of the good moments is in after all of this is like trying to work out in terms of opening, in terms of what the plan is, is like what is best for Kiln as opposed to what's the most, what's the priorities. So, um, for example, it's not to open first or be as quick to open as maybe other organisations, but to make sure that when we open, we're robust and we can really uh, demonstrate and stick to our mission. Um, the other thing that this time is making me do, and um, which I'm valuing, is about digging deep really digging deep because we're watching obviously the world go round, uh, fall apart. We're watching a lot of anger, the fault lines in our society being completely exacerbated. Things that we've swallowed like um, structural racism, the, the microaggressions, um, and we've just sort of turned, turned away or ignored in order to move forward. All these things that are coming up is one hand making me kind of go get upset and feel kind of overwhelmed but once I've gone through that is like really really trying to dig deep and really commit to or re-examine what being part of a community means what what does it mean to run a theatre in Brent with where over 100 languages are spoken where 43% of children live in poverty and how do we serve that community? And I'm really, I'm really relishing that, that reevaluating and that rethinking and that, that um, excavating uh, what those words mean and what, what can we do to address that? Not even as a theatre, as a civic space, and then think about what lessons we can learn and bring as we open as a fully producing theatre. So digging deep is the positive of what this time and um, context um, is allowing. And then, um, and then uh, the other thing is sticking to your values, your own personal values and uh, the values of the organisation. Uh, in crisis, it's much harder to stick to those, and but actually that's when they count the most. And so even internally as an organisation, we always keep coming back to what's our mission statement and what our, does this fulfil our values, even if it's about 
again, and this goes back to the earlier point, point about taking time rather than being knee jerk. Um, does does this fulfill our mission? Um, and that takes conversations and that takes time, that takes arguing, that takes bouncing back. Um, but I think we'll stand us in good stead as we come out of this period because we then really, really know who we are, even in the tough times. And my fourth thing, I know I said three to begin with, but the fourth thing is communication. Trying to be as transparent as possible to your team, to your stakeholders, to your audiences, to your uh, to your communities. It's when you can try and get the information out, even if it's saying we don't know, because what we realise in this period is that people are just don't know what's happening and therefore uh, can feel very alone and frustrated by that. And so it's really key and really important is communication. So those are my thoughts. Uh, and um, yes, stay safe and uh, let's hope we come through this stronger uh, and bolder. <laughs>